Hey there everyone, Ramesh here. Today I am going to start a new brand series on developing crude full stack application using Angular 10 and Spring Boot. So I am going to use Angular 10 which is the latest release of Angular as of now. And this full stack application is perfectly work with Angular 8 and Angular 9 as well. So what you need to do is, you need to simply replace a angular version from 10 to 8 or 9 as per your requirement in package.json file that we'll see when we create angular 10 application in this series in this tutorial series we will learn how to develop crude full stack web application that is basic employee management application using angular 10 and spring boot basically we are going to develop five features in this project so we'll create create employee feature list employee feature update employee feature delete employee feature and view, view employee feature so these are the five features we are going to develop in our employee management application and we are going to use spring boot to develop restful web services and angular to develop client side application so before uh, you know implementing our employee management application that is full stack application let's quickly have a demo what exactly we are going to build in this tutorial series so this is the user interface of our full stack application that is employee management application so this is the employees list page here we're going to add a employees and this is the header of our application this is a putter and a header you can see here employees list tab and this is add employee tab let's go ahead and let's click on add employee tab and this is the create employee page and we're going to use this page to add a new employee to the employees list let's go ahead and let's add one of the employee first name ramesh last name furthery and email id ramesh at the rate gmail.com hit submit yeah here we go the employee is added to the employee list Let's go ahead and let's add one more employee. Let's say John Cena and email ID as john at the gmail.com. Hit submit. Let's go ahead and let's add one more employee. Let's say admin and last name admin and email ID. Let's say admin at the gmail.com. Yeah, here we go. So we have added three employees to the employee list. Now let's go ahead and let's see update functionality. I'm going to update Ramesh for the employee click on update button and here I am going to update first name from Ramesh to Ram and email id from Ramesh to Ram at the rate gmail.com hit submit button yeah here we go alright guys look at here the employee is successfully updated now let's go ahead and let's delete one of the employee let's say I am going to delete John Cena employee click on delete button yeah so employee is successfully deleted now let's see one more employee I'm going to delete RAM employee. Yeah, great. So here we have details button. You can click on details button to view a particular employee details in a separate page. And here we have back to employee list button. Click on this button to navigate to the employee list page. So these are the five features that we are going to develop in this project. Add employee, list employee and delete, update and did view details employee so these are the five functionalities that we are going to develop in this full stack application let's take a quick overview of angular and spring boot angular is a platform and framework for building single page client applications using html and typescript angular is written in typescript okay and uh, you should have a basic understanding of typescript in order to work with angular and we are going to use angular 10 which is the latest release of angular as of now well angular is a popular especially for developing single page applications angular is modular modular in nature so angular application is divided into multiple modules and each module can have in turn uh, components services directives templates etc and angular provides the built-in features like dependency injection and data binding Alright, so Angular is one of the most popular TypeScript based framework for building single page applications. Well, Spring Boot is uh, pretty much popular for developing RESTful web services and microservices. 
Spring Boot has taken Spring Framework to the next level. It has drastically reduced the configuration and setup time required for Spring based projects. You can set up Spring project with almost zero configuration and start building the things that actually matter to your application. Angular and Spring Boot is a great combination to develop full stack application. What you will learn in this tutorial series? You will learn how to develop crude full stack application with Angular as a front end and Spring Boot as a back end. And you will learn how to build a great RESTful APIs with Spring Boot. And you will learn how to solve the challenges of connecting Angular front end to REST API which is developed using Spring Boot. You will learn how to connect REST API to JPA or Hibernate with Spring Boot. So basically we are going to use Spring Data JPA which in turn uses Hibernate as a JPA provider. So you will learn how to use Spring Data JPA or Hibernate in Spring Boot application. You will learn how to use wide variety of Spring Boot starter projects such as Spring Boot Web Starter Dependency, Spring Boot Data JPA Dependency and uh, other dependencies. So we are going to use MySQL database. So you will also learn how to connect Spring Boot application with MySQL database. And you will learn the basics of Angular like Angular modules, components, data binding and routing. So while developing this Angular application, I'm going to also explain you about Angular modules, components, data bindings and routing as well. Now let's take a look at client server architecture. At the server side, we have Spring Boot application which creates and exposes REST API. And at the client side, we have Angular application which we use to develop single page application and it consumes a REST APIs which is exposed by Spring Boot application. All right, so this is how the client server architecture looks like. All right guys, this is all about the project overview of this series. Thanks guys for watching. I will see you guys in next one.